my name is Hannah and I'm a planetary scientist working with the Open University group of the Love Me X rover team, which you can see here. And our group is working on the development of surface science packages on the rover. One of the surface science packages will be searching for water ice in areas of the moon called permanently shadowed regions. And these areas are extremely dark and extremely cold and are thought to contain water ice. And although liquid water couldn't last on the moon without an atmosphere, there is evidence that some water molecules could have frozen in the shadowed regions following impacts from asteroids or comets that had water on them. These areas are incredibly hard to access as they are usually at the bottom of dark craters. So in order to detect this water, we are proposing that the Love Me X rover launch a miniature payload into the crater that can operate with very low power. And we are looking to use a mass spectrometer to detect water molecules, but using a non-conventional electron source. So mass spectrometers work by firing electrons at molecules, which ionizes them or gives them a charge, and they can then be detected. And we are looking at using carbon nanotubes as our electron source. And when you put carbon nanotubes in an electric field, they release electrons. And compared to conventional electron sources, this process uses less power and is more reliable. And we have been growing carbon nanotubes in the lab and testing their ability to produce electrons before we integrate it into the mass spectrometer design. And this technology will allow the operation of mass spectrometers in shadowed regions of the moon and other non-illuminated places in the solar system.